What is going on, I have Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're gonna talk about how to burn fat fast when doing the one meal a day intermittent fasting diet or protocol. See, this one is one of my favorites, but it does have its drawbacks that need to be addressed so that you can effectively burn fat quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in this video. Stay. All right, guys, quickly before we start, this video is brought to you by yours truly, Fledge Fitness and the Fledge Fitness Jump Rope. If you haven't ordered yours yet, what are you waiting for? With an ergonomic design, aluminum handle, and swivel design, you can't go wrong with the Fledge Fitness Jump Rope. And just to let you know, finally, by next week, we should have all of the units so that we can ship them out. So everyone who's pre-ordered them will definitely have it shipped the moment we get those units. And I'm about 98% sure, bar another type of delay, that the units will arrive by next week so if you want to get yours you can go ahead and click on this top right hand corner or the description down below and of course as always guys thank you for your support now let's go ahead and jump into the video so one of the main things that you should be aware of when it comes to intermittent fasting is the post absorptive range the the metabolic switch over time frame this time frame is from about 8 to 12 hours if you hit that number you switch over there's a metabolic switch over and now your body is running predominantly Dominantly on body fat. So essentially, the longer the time is after that switchover is as long as you are burning fat predominantly for fuel. You can see the fat substrate switchover here in the chart. Now, 16-8 is good because the 16-8 method is a good distance away from the 12 hours, so you get a good amount of time burning body fat. So is the warrior diet because the warrior diet is 20 hours of fasting and four hours of eating. You get a good distance from that eight to 12 hour range. But one meal a day can be be the most efficient in terms of how long it is while still being short enough to avoid any diminishing returns with the positive metabolic switchover that you get from intermittent fasting and that's what makes one meal a day so powerful but you can be tricked into thinking that because of this, because of this element, because the fasting period is so long that it's just a no brainer and automatically just trumps everything else because the only thing you're looking at is the amount of time that you're fasting. But there are elements to it that if you don't do it correctly can work against burning fat. The metabolic switchover will take place. That won't be effective, but calories in versus calories out is still a major factor. And what ends up happening when someone has a one meal a day system is that they actually under eat aggressively because of the fact that they only can eat one meal now if you're under eating please understand that you are increasing the speed and the rate of metabolic adaptation and when that happens there is a metabolic slowdown it's not because of the fasting it's because of the under eating it's easy to do one meal a day and not have to count calories but if you ever hit a wall it may be because your metabolic rate has reduced but you're not changing what you're eating and it reduced fairly quickly because the caloric deficit was too high so you want to ensure that when you go Go into it you're eating calorie dense foods things like rice milk nuts quinoa and the most calorie dense thing that you can consume oils things like olive oil which is the most calorie dense food in the human diet it packs a major 4,000 calories for every one pound of oil so if you have some salad you pour some olive oil on it create a calorie dense scenario you don't want your caloric deficit to be too aggressively low this way you can tame the metabolic adaptation to not reduce so quickly and lose weight steadily and because the calorie partitioning that's happening because of that metabolic switchover is primarily body fat it's all working in your favor so try to eat calorie dense foods so you don't under eat too much another thing that happens with one meal a day is a lack of nutrition now supplementing nutrition with vitamins is okay but there's no substitute for the real thing consuming it from food it's dispersed much better in your body when you consume it directly from the food so make sure that you're getting things like magnesium calcium vitamin c vitamin a these are the nutrients that people tend not to consume as much but they're very important and especially if you're eating just one meal a day because since you're eating one meal a day that's your only opportunity 
ability to get those nutrients through food. And a lack of nutrient can also create a stress level or cortisol increase where your body is saying there is very little nutrition coming in. Even when he consumes food, we're not getting much nutrition. We're going to have to be more conservative with the energy burn. So you want to stay as thermogenic as possible. Another thing that I want to touch on that many people kind of have like confused is water intake. You want to consume water. Why? Water actually contains a thermogenic effect without any calorie intake at all because the body always wants to stay at a certain temperature. When you drink water, your body actually activates a thermogenic effect to warm up the water. And there was even a metabolic chamber study done where they looked at the participants drinking water and there was a thermogenic effect as the body was trying to warm up the water from 22 degrees Celsius to 37 degrees Celsius every single time they drank water. And these things compound over time. So why leave that on the table? It's a way to not only Keep yourself hydrated, which is very important. Release water if you have too much water retention, which can carry weight and even fluffiness around the body, as well as creating a thermogenic effect throughout the day. Because remember, you're not going to be eating. You're not going to be doing anything like that. You have so much time to compound that thermogenic effect from drinking water. Now, is it going to be groundbreaking? No, but it is going to help you speed up the weight loss. If you're in a fasted state, if you've done that switch over, the energy from this thermogenic effect is going to be coming from your body fat. So it's incredibly important. Another thing that you want to look out for is the initial insulin response. See, the thing with one meal a day is that the longer you aren't eating, the more agitated the insulin hormone becomes. And by agitated is more like it's, it keeps like, like it, it's more like it's being pulled like a slingshot. And then the moment you eat, it just shoots up. It's almost on a springboard effect. So it's waiting for that food, it's waiting for that food. And if the initial food that you take in is very high in sugar and high in the glycemic index, it's going to shoot up aggressively. So your insulin is gonna go really, really high. And that's why many studies with one meal a day can see imbalances in glucose fluctuation. What you wanna do is eat foods that are low in the glycemic index to start, just to start, and foods that are not as solid as well because of the lining in your stomach that can be irritated because you haven't eaten in a while. Things like apples, which are low in the glycemic index, but also help you in the digestive process since you haven't eaten. This will then shoot your insulin up and remove it from its springboard effect. Yes, it will go up more and more as you eat, but it's not going to shoot aggressively high because it still takes a long time to get down. So this actually helps you get into a fasted state much faster after eating so that you can be closer to the eight hours and further away from the 12 hours for that switch over to take place. So don't get me wrong, guys. I use a customized version of one meal a day because I enjoy being in a fasted state. My version is called the War Mad, where it fuses the War your diet and one meal a day where I can eat more than once if I want to, but I could also eat once within my four hour window. But every single time I guarantee minimum 20 hours of fasting, but it can be up to 23 hours because I only eat within that four hour time frame. So I absolutely adore the one meal a day protocol because of how long you fast. But you still have to be smart with it so that you can be as effective as possible because when you're effective, you'll be burning body fat consistently. You'll be removing the roadblocks that may be in front of you. So I hope this video has helped you guys. And of course, as always, I wanna thank my patrons for my Patreon. I'm gonna go ahead and put their names right up here.